Hello everyone, today I'm going to take a look at uh, what seems a regular uh, Phantom 3 battery. Uh, the reason uh, I'm doing uh, this uh, video is because I have uh, bought this uh, a lot more cheaper than uh, they are going on a local market and uh, I may have some uh, suspicions that uh, this may not be a genuine battery and I want to test it first to see if uh, it is uh, really genuine or not and uh, I don't want to crash my quad because of this so first I'm going to try to test it as much as possible and uh, update its firmware to be sure that it's uh, the real deal uh, the box looks exactly like a Phantom 3 uh, battery and even comes with this label here that it's authorized and so on so let's see what you get in the box how it looks and uh, how it performs the packing is identical with the original also get some labels here FTC compliance and intelligent flight battery safety guidelines Chinese and English uh, revision all right and here's how the battery looks and its labels okay and it has some power so let's put it into the phantom and see what it does I'm gonna power it on and let's see here first I'm going to check to see if we have the latest uh, DJI application so DJI Go, there's no newer update, so I'm going to return back to the application, I'm going to connect the camera, so we have updates required here, and it tells us that the uh, battery update is uh, required, so that seems perfect, and I'm going to power the quad off and update the battery firmware which is very easy to do power is off and to update it you are going to need a SD card which is already inserted into my laptop so this is the SD card first I'm going to format it and it's now formatted and I'm going to use the latest uh, firmware from DJI's website and I'm going to copy it in the root of the SD card now I'm going to safely disconnect the uh, SD card ejected actually SD card is ejected and I'm going to insert it into the gimbal and I'm going to power the quad back again because the quad has the latest uh, firmware already uh, it should only update the battery and not to the aircraft uh, firmware and you can see the process will start right away and that is the update it has uh, started 
and you are going to see some uh, different flashes on uh, the battery LEDs. There it goes. And now it's flashing the firmware. And that should be the sound of uh, success. Uh, we can uh, check uh, what it's doing and if it's finished by looking at the front here. If uh, this uh, LED is uh, solid green, it means that uh, the update is finished and it's now safe to power it off. But, and I'm going to power it off first. So it's going to be kind of a power cycle. It's now off. And let's see what the app tells us now. now. I'm going to power the quad back again. Okay, and the transmitter. Okay, and let's go to camera, so we get a low battery warning, but nothing else, let's see, so we have the latest firmware, no error messages, no uh, motors uh, locked, like on uh, fake batteries. So it seems to be the real deal and a genuine battery which I bought as I said in the beginning a lot more cheaper than uh, my local uh, suppliers are uh, selling them by. So next uh, thing now it will be to fully charge and go out and uh, have fun with it. Until next time bye bye.